welcome back to the channel and today we are not um, fishing for obvious reasons um, like most of like most people but everyone's getting the tackle ready tying rigs blah -de blah doing all that ready ready for the day when we can go back fishing well I've been doing that myself making some rigs and that but but I've had a go I also also had a go of um, making some dumbbell rigs for catfishing because when when we can finally get back to fishing and get back on the bank uh, I think the catfish will be well beyond the munch and I fancy uh, bagging a couple so I've made myself some dumbbell rigs if you don't know what a dumbbell rig for catfishing is it's basically a way of presenting a live bait or some worms or something suspended in the water um, I had a quick google, I was going to buy some, I had a quick google and uh, they were ranging from 4 99 to about 8 quid I think on the internet, when I had a quick google uh, the tackle shops were how much the tackle shops were selling them for so uh, so I had to go making some so what I did was uh, I ordered all the stuff off eBay, I say all the stuff, there's only a few components so I ordered the stuff off eBay uh, I'll leave the links in the description so if anyone anyone wants to do it you can just click on an order so uh, I ordered stuff off eBay and I think there's enough for five dumbbell rigs uh, when I worked out the price they cost me about £1.20 to make each if anyone doesn't know what a dumbbell rig looks like or how you use it I'll just do a little quick demo obviously not in the water so basically, if you imagine the spool is the main line on your rod, um, you just cast that in and it acts as basically a, a marker setup, marker float setup. So the dumbbell rises to the top, to the surface. Uh, the live bait can swim round like however long you set the hook link. Bear in mind the hook link, hook link has got to be shorter than the dumbbell so it doesn't tangle around your main line. But basically that's all it is, a mark float and then the live bait can swim around in any direction. But it's anchored to the, um, to the lake bed. So what you do is you take your um, foam golf balls and your modelling straw make sure you grab the straw right at the end because they are quite dense these golf balls and they're hard to get the straw through so what you do is grab it right near the end push through give it a bit of a wiggle as you're pushing it through the, the practice golf ball you will find they are quite tight on the modeling straw but you can put a blob of glue on if you want just to hold it there once it's in the right place so then just repeat on the other side pushing pushing the um, straw through until it pops through. That's it. Just pull it, pull any bits of foam out of the end of the straw if you as you push it through. Then take your heat shrink, push that onto the end of your straw. Then heat, heat, heat it up so it grips the um, modelling straw. You're best using a kettle. I only used a lighter to um, for the thing of the video purpose of the video best using a kettle so you don't melt the straw because it's quite easy to melt the straw because it's only plastic so take your swivel put it onto the push it into the heat shrink and then take your heat shrink and then put it on the end of your straw warm up with the kettle and that's that end done Then all you have to do is slide the um, golf ball to the end, pop your swivel back in to the, into the heat shrink and then push your bead stop, whatever you want to use, stop it going through the eye of the lead onto the end and then there uh, you have the finished product. Like I say you can put a blob of, blob of glue on if you want onto the straw just to hold the golf ball in place but I've found that they're pretty tight anyway. If you have any um, ways that you, I can improve this design, let me know because, like I say, I'm not an expert at catfishing by any means, but they seem, seem like they're going to do the job, so I'm looking forward to using them. 
Thanks for watching.